Welcome to this mini-series where we are highlighting companies that are actively working in the oil and gas industry and how they are offering opportunities for local companies and persons to benefit from developments in this new industry. We begin the series with Matpa Marine Institute. For the past 17 years, Matpa Marine Institute has been training local seafarers in safety standards for the maritime industry. The Department of Public Information met with the administrator of the institute, Colleen Abrams, to find out more about the company. Matpa Marine is purely a local company, a local service company, um, which had its genesis um, in uh, 1999. Actually, uh, Matpal opens its door for training on uh, the 5th of October 1999. At that time, Matpal offered training for local seafarers, persons who wanted to work with and around the coast of Guyana. Uh, Matpal has been offering such training to seafarers from then up until now. Abrams said courses offered at Matpal are regionally certified. In addition to uh, offering local courses, Matpal also offers training on behalf of the Caribbean Maritime Institute of Jamaica and Panama Maritime Training Services. Um, the reason why we are doing so is because Guyana as a country is yet to fully comply with the requirements of the International Maritime Organization to um, offer certification on its own. And so in order to get seafarers qualified to function on board ship, we were graced with the presence and we got the approval from those two regional entities to offer training on their behalf. Once qualified, seafarers have an inclusive opportunity for employment in the maritime industry. Persons passing through Matpa Marine have been fortunate enough to gain employment both within the local maritime industry, regionally and as far as Europe and North America. The fact that um, the training that is done here is according to the STCW convention, which is governed by the, the International Maritime Organization, it does not disallow anyone who would have passed through the school from working on board any ocean-going vessel um, at the level that they're qualified to function at. Now, since Guyana uh, had its oil discovery in 2015 and is now preparing for production come 2020, how is MACPAL training or preparing mariners to access opportunities in the offshore oil and gas industry? Yes, MACPAL Marine Institute, as the name um, suggests, is actually a service industry where we do training, certification and educating of seafarers. Once they are qualified um, in the safety courses that we offer here, they will be allowed um, to be employed on board, whether it be the, the, the Stena Caron, the drill ship, um, the FPSO, that was um, SBM's FPSO, or even the supply vessels of Edison Schwest that normally carry supplies from Port Georgetown to the rig and back. So persons who would have passed through the school can function in various capacities on board vessels. And that is what we are training them um, to take up those positions, whether it be ordinary sailors, um, able-bodied seamen, um, even at the officer's level, um, they can also take up employment on board those vessels. Matpal's services allow local companies and sailors to get a foothold in an industry which promotes high standards. For a sailor, or any person for that matter, who may want to know why he has to do this training, within the offshore industry, and as a matter of fact within the maritime industry, and more so the offshore industry, safety is first and foremost. And therefore, persons embarking on board employment within the industry have got to recognize and be cognizant of training and what is required for them to get on board and to fully understand their role as a part of the team or as a part of whatever vessel they find themselves on as it relates to maintaining train, uh, safety on board ship. So what are some of the courses that MATPAL offers both to uh, those that are already in business and those that would like to come into the business? MATPAL offers a wide gamut of courses. Uh, some of those include the basic safety training, the ship security awareness, uh, basic training for oil and chemical tankers, uh, proficiency in survival craft rescue boats. We also offer training for persons working as able-bodied seamen and oilers on board vessels, and those are the watch keeping for deck and engine room persons. I must also advise that um, Aside from those, those courses, 
Matt Palmarine also started a cadet program on behalf of the Maritime Administration Department of Guyana, which is our port and regulatory body here within Guyana. And we have on board uh, 15 cadets drawn from the Maritime Administration Department. And we have them um, doing a three-phase, four-year training um, that will allow them at the end of the training to gravitate towards the industry as fully qualified um, officers. Um, at the end of that, that, that training program. This would be officers to monitor what is happening in that sector? It will be because in terms of building local content, many of them will um, return back to the Maritime Administration to work as inspectors, surveyors, even pilots to bring those vessels in and out from um, offshore. So they will function in those and many other capacities um, even as they are finished with training. Uh, the, the cadets, as we, even as we speak, are also gaining much needed experience because they have been exposed to internship as a part of the program on board the vessels of uh, Edison Schwest, the supply vessels. And of recent, we were um, fortunate to have some of them um, be allowed to do internship on board the vessels of Western Geco, which is also another um, seismic company that is actually doing seismic surveys offshore Guyana. MATPAL is providing the training for these cadets on behalf of the Maritime Administration, MARAD. Omega Pereira, a cadet being trained to eventually become a pilot, said she is excited to work in this new industry. At the end of the day, when we become pilots, because we will, in 2020, we will be having a lot more vessels coming into to, to Georgetown, to Georgetown yeah. into port, right? So they need pilots to bring in these vessels. And when we get, get to the top, we will be able to safely guide these vessels into port, allowing no troubles, no damages, no wrecks, nothing happening to them. So, you know, more vessels will want to come because, I mean, they won't be having any problems when they get into Ghana, when they get into port. For clarity, a pilot in the maritime sector does not do any flying. Cadet Dwayne Anderson explained what a pilot does and how the training from MATPAL will improve his work. They're what we would basically call shore-based captains okay. that would, you know, guide vessels in local waters or harbors to be exact and bring in vessels because the captains there and the officers there, they're not familiar with, you know, whichever country they're going to. So the pilot actually guides the, the captain or, or the crew right on the boat we you know where they should avoid in a, in a channel or you know stuff like those practically it's, it's a little different because hands-on you would actually get to see and based in certain you know situation to analyze you know what should be done and what shouldn't be done so the experience it's been very good so far. Matpal Marine Institute does not only provide training and education for the oil and gas industry, but is among local companies that are employed in the industry. Matpal, actually, it started because Matpal, as the only training institution here in Guyana, has also had the opportunity to train persons working with PG tankers, which is uh, a fuel company out of the UK. PG Tankers has on board um, in its fleet a total of 10 tankers with an 11th one due to um, come into operation in August of 2017, this year. And so by virtue of the fact that we were doing training for them in terms of um, the basic training for oil and chemical tankers, the basic safety training, security awareness and the watchkeeping for deck and engine room ratings, um, Matt Palmarine was well, approved and appointed by PG Tankers to manage the crew in portfolio. And so, as um, with effect from March 2017, we gained the approval from PG Tankers to manage the crew in portfolio, and um, we have on board their vessels about 115 Guyanese seafarers or Guyanese crew members working in various capacities on board their vessels. Some work as ordinary sailors, some work as able-bodied, some work as bosuns, some work as engineers, some work as oilers, and the list goes on. One of those workers, 
Javier Branch shared with DPI his experience working as a seaman on the tanker. We do different tasks. For example, if we're sailing, normally we pull our bridge watch for four, um, four hours. And if we're in port, we do discharge or loading operations. And while we're sailing also, we also do maintenance of the vessel. Branch has been working as a seaman for seven years before landing this job with PG and said being able to access training in Guyana through Matpal is affordable. It's good that Matpal is doing the courses in Guyana because if they weren't doing the courses in Guyana, then I would have to go probably somewhere like Trinidad or overseas to be able to do these courses, which would even be more expensive. Join us again next week as we look at how ExxonMobil and its contractors are working to develop local content capacity. I am Tiffany Rogers. Thank you for watching.